In this demonstration, I will be employing a fire syringe. This syringe has a base made of pretty strong plastic, and you can see the end here with the uh, rubber gaskets that make a nice seal. So what I'm going to do is, as you can already see, I have some cotton already stuck in the, in the top here, and I'll add a little bit more, okay, a little piece of cotton that I'm going to push. You can see that's sitting in there. And I'm going to take my fire syringe, and my hope is to push down hard enough on this syringe, okay, to put compress the molecules in this small volume enough so that their temperature increases. So I'm just going to screw on the top, nice and tight, and I'm going to push down on the gas and compress it so you can see what the setup looks like, okay, so there's nothing more than a little top there. And I'm going to push down on that, and we're going to look carefully at the bottom of the syringe right here. And I'm going to push down hard, and my hope is, as I compress the gas and push molecules closer together in this small space, that we could see an increase of temperature enough to ignite or reach the flash point of the cotton. So as the pressure increases, the temperature, we don't only see the scenario, we think of temperature increasing, the pressure will increase, molecules go faster, keeping moles, number of particles, okay, and volume constant. All right, so in any case, we're going to crunch down, and we're going to do basically what a piston in a diesel engine does, and that piston cr cranks down and creates a high enough temperature to ignite the, um, the diesel fuel. any case, uh, let's try it. So ready? One, two, three. I don't know if I got a spark there or not. I'll try it again. Okay, I'm going to hold it down with my hand here. There we go. I got that little sparks. I think I ignited it all. Okay. I actually can smell it. I can smell the video.